The 316 Victus is our entry to the Army's uh, Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Solicitation. It is meant to be the knife fighter in the mission. It is equipped with a 20 millimeter cannon. It has a munitions launcher and everything on this aircraft was designed for it to fly very, very fast. It has a cruise speed over 180 knots. That's allowed by its retractable landing gear, its retractable payload. It's very sleek, streamlined crew station sits one in front of the other, all meant to fly very fast. This aircraft may come in and clear a space that the V-280 Valor may then come in and bring people to. Really excited with the future capabilities that this platform has and the capability that it'll bring to the U.S. Army in a mission set that currently has a gap. The 360 Invictus is now over 80% assembled. Um, our most recent milestone was the completion of the competitive prototype's primary tail structure. And next month, we expect to install the main rotor hub, which is our next major milestone with the U.S. government. The 360 Invictus specifically is a low-risk solution because it is very maintainable. It has proven a rotor system, proven components, proven integration, fly-by-wire integration, which Bell has a lot of experience doing. Um, and it also has a s simplicity where needless over complexity is not necessary. We leveraged a lot of other programs, V280 for example, with some of our rotor systems design. And we have some really good and healthy industry partnerships for the competitive prototype and for the increment one production effort. I am so proud to be part of this effort. I've mentioned this before, but I would be so honored to see my, like my nieces and nephews and my children's generation be around a fleet of aircraft that I know we modernized with respect to the maintainability and the reliability and the affordability of the platform.